Hey there everybody, this is Dr. Ogres, and welcome to Series 2, Episode 1 of my Let's Play EVE Online. When we started Series 1 two years ago, the game was much different than it is now. Looking at it, I decided that some, sometimes the best thing to do, especially for the purpose of these videos and kind of helping new players out, is to really just kind of take a step back, look at how much change has changed, and how much information those old videos have wrong now, um, and kind of just take a new stab at it and go go again. Uh, I also occasionally like to just roll up new characters in EVE Online and, and experience the new player experience for myself. So this is for me as much as it is for you. For old viewers, stay tuned till the end of the video. I have some ideas for community interaction and how I'd like the series to progress that you can help me out with. Uh, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and get started. This episode today is going to cover character creation, your initial decisions in EVE Online, finding yourself a career, and getting started in the game itself. So let's go ahead and get started with character creation. Character creation, your first option is to select a race. The races don't make a huge amount of difference. They have a aesthetic difference between them. The ships will look different. Um, but you're not barred from flying the ships of any race, regardless of what you start with on this screen. The physical appearance of the races also look different. So if you find one that you think looks cooler than another, feel free to use that as your selection criteria. Your starting skills are equivalent to just slightly different focus. So for example, if you're a Minmatar starting character, you're going to start with some basic Minmatar ship skills, some basic Minmatar racial weapons, when in this case is projectile weapons. If you start with Kaldari, you're going to start with some basic uh, Kaldari ship skills and some basic Kaldari weapon skills. Same, same for Galente, same for Amar. Um, and so it's really just a matter of deciding which one you like the look of and where you'd like to begin your career path. Unless, of course, you're into the backstory and the role-playing aspects of the game, in which case, reading the backstory and finding the one that makes most sense to you and how you want to approach the game might, might be a great way to get started. For the purpose of this series, we're going to stick with Galente, just like we did for Series 1, and we're going to make a sort of a Dr. Ogres Jr. here. <clears throat> As you select each race, it'll give you a brief description of the race uh, and what it means. Uh, so if you choose Kaldari, it'll tell you about what they're all about. Amar, tell you what they're about. Mimitar, Galente, so on and so forth. Simply choose the one you want, hit the next button, and you'll be moved on to choosing a bloodline. Bloodline in EVE Online is, a again, mostly a cosmetic uh, choice. The Jinmei are a primarily Asian-looking race. The Inak Intaki are um, kind of Eastern or European, Western European, uh, and then the Galente themselves are supposedly based on the French. Um, I don't know. Anyway, uh, again, this doesn't have a huge uh, bearing on the game itself, except for, of course, the basic appearance of your character. The original Dr. Orgers is Jin Mei. I think this time we'll go with Intaki. Uh, and then you choose your gender. Oh, again, of course, there, there are role-playing aspects behind each of these, if you're interested in that stuff. So we hit... We select our gender. I, generally speaking, always go male. And then you're moved into the character customization. You can spend as little or as much time working on the character customization as you like. The muscularity and the weight of your character. So you can be beefy and buffy and all that good stuff if you like. You can be scrawny. You can be overweight a little bit. So it's kind of all up to you, and how much time you want to spend in here is really your call. Uh, for the most part, I think we're just going to hit random a couple times until we get to a basic place where we like it. And then we're going to do a little bit of sculpting. Uh, sculpting is done by pulling points around on the surface of the model. It's a pretty unique character customization method. Uh, and it's uh, definitely one of the more in-depth I've ever seen in, in an MMO. Uh, fortunately, uh, most of this work is not seen because you spend a lot of your time in a ship. So there's that. Uh, with uh, Incarna and some of the future ideas for EVE Online, this may become more important. But for now, it's really just about your avatar and what it looks like to other players. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. And then we can go to complexion, and this will change uh, whether you have, you know, if it's ruddy, if you've got freckles, whether you have wrinkles, uh, all that stuff. Uh, pock marks. 
eyes, just where you change your eye shape and color. Uh, so for example, if we want to have brown eyes, just choose brown. If we want blue or gray, we can choose those options and we can change the shapes and the size of the pupils and all that good stuff. And then you're presented with a various variety of hairstyles, everything from something from bald to kind of douchey to mohawks to whatever you like. I think we'll go with that one. That looks not too bad. And then, then you can change the color of your hair here, etc. and so on. And give yourself some eyebrows. And maybe a bitchin' mustache. <laughs> or not. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's see. There's got to be just something a little less. There we go. Little stubble never hurt anybody. Uh, and then, of course, you can mess with your skin details as much as you want. And then it's time to put some clothes on your character. You do have to clothe your character. Uh, they don't let you uh, make naked characters running around. Honestly, I don't really care all that much about it. This one, I think, looks fine. I might change the coat. I like this is the same coat that Dr. Overs has. So, you know, might want to keep that. Uh, those boots are fine and then you can choose tattoos scars, piercings all that good stuff we're just going to leave Dr. Junior here a little undecorated in that sense alright so when you have a character that you're happy with you move on to the next step which is your portrait this is the avatar that will be shown in local and throughout the game to represent your character it's a simple process of choosing a background, posing your character, and taking a picture. They have some pre-made poses for you, or you can just drag your character around. Again, this is similar to the modeling, but it doesn't affect the underlying mesh of your character. So you want to give them that GQ over the shoulder, like looking at my watch look. There we go. Oh, man, he's a cover boy. And when you're happy with that, you hit the Take Picture button. And this will present to you with a, a preview of what your portraiting game will be. Then you can adjust the zoom or the position just until you get it just where you want it. Narrow the eyes, give them a little smile. Because as we know, the ogres is our friendly guys. Maybe a little less of that. There we go. We're going to go ahead and say yes on that. Whichever one you had selected at the end of the process of those four will become your avatar. You can always change that later, so don't worry about it too much. And this is the point where we would choose our identity. Your identity has a couple things that changes for you. Some of the your ancestry uh, determines what your kind of secondary starting skills are. Everybody gets like basic frigate skills and things like that. Uh, your education depends on determines where you start and whether you're focused on, you know, various what other aspects of it you are focused on. Uh, it doesn't really make that big of a difference. I would say starting area is kind of like a big thing, but if you're going to do something for military, you might want to just start at the Federal Navy Navy Academy. It's a good place to get started. Um, and then you choose your ancestry, and mostly this is this is about your um, backstory and, and where your character comes from. It's all completely optional in terms of in terms of um, skill selection and all that good stuff. So it's really more of a flavor. So we're going to say we're reborn, uh, which means that the person, personality of a dying person was transformed into a newborn baby. Uh, and that was, that was me. I used to be someone else, Dr. Overs. I had been reborn into a newborn baby and raises this guy and then I studied at the Federal Navy Academy and then you go ahead and choose your name and we're gonna use Dr. Dot Overs to differentiate him from the from the mass of uh, oh and look at that a family name that's new from the mass of Dr. Overs out in the galaxy we've got a period in there I'm gonna go ahead and check availability oh can't do dots in there anymore Dr. well how about Doctor. There we go. <clears throat> and 
that's too many spaces apparently so we're just going to delete that and this is I presume going to append itself to me I wonder if I could just do yeah look up at that it is available so I can just be Dr. Ogres again anyway <laughs> like I said I can spend hours just fiddling with this stuff uh, but once you're ready and you're happy with all this good stuff uh, you just hit the old finalize button it says you want to look like this you say yes presuming you're okay with that and there you go it'll drop you into the game and start firing up tutorials at, tutorials at you it'll give you an agent available immediately as aura and aura is the tutorial agent I highly recommend going through the tutorials even the very very basic ones you'll pop up in your pod See, and she's ready for you to start. I'm probably not going to bore you with the basic walk around your room tutorial. But uh, we will jump in as soon as I kind of get started on some of the next steps. So we'll see you in just a little bit. In this first tutorial, we're going to be getting a starship, uh, weapons and, and learning about weapons, defensive models, a skill book, and get some cash. This is why tutorials are super, super important. And I would say go through all of them because you will receive ships, you will receive money, you will receive skills. Uh, it's it's built to get you started out as a character in the game. Because your character essentially has 55,000 skill points to start, that's it. Um, your wallet is empty to start and all you have is a pod. So you're gonna need to go through all this stuff just to get started in the game unless you have a sugar daddy but we're not going to go that route no sir so when we're ready let's go so now that we're ready we're going to start a conversation with aura and then she's going to walk us through what this means so this is our first mission missions are kind of how everybody gets started in the game um, what you've got to do is you have to go to a specific spot and you will be given a reward. Sometimes it's a combat mission, sometimes it's not. Um, so when you're ready, you just click the accept button and you're ready to start the mission. And then when you look in your journal, this is where you can see what your missions are. Okay. Covering the basics. It's an epic arc. <clears throat> Alright, so now we're going to undock, and it's going to give us our first ship. My God, look at that. Well, you look at that. This is new. I, awesome. Excellent job. This is cool. Okay, so this is the very first tutorial. All right, 
and it's changed so much. You undock in a pod, they show you how to warp, and then they show you this is where you pick up your first rookie ship. This is very cool. Um, this is much different than it used to be. I'm going to be editing this stuff around, I'm presuming, anyway. Uh, this is much different than it used to be. It's 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 very neat, and it's it's much more informative, I think, for the player. If, if I had had this when I first started, like this thing over here, and, and oh, look, look at all the options. How, that is so much cooler. If I'd have had that, I, I think I would have had a much <laughs> easier time getting started. You guys really, really have it pretty easy. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to continue following the tutorial. And we're just going to right click and board ship. Bam! Look at that. There we go. We're on our first ship. How about that? Oh, oh, oh. Kudos, CCP. This is really good stuff. All right, we're going to activate the gate. And then we're going to learn about ship movement. What do we got? It's the structure that I need to loot. All right. There's a caught up on the beacon, though. I want to approach it. that in a minute, I'm sure. Open cargo. <clears throat> that is cool. Okay. So, when you open the cargo, it brings up the inventory. Now, this will show me that where it's at. So this is the inventory in my ship. This is the inventory in the cargo rig. You can see it's the icon of the cargo rig, and I can close it when I'm done. And I can just hit loot all and take it all. And now, that same item is clearly in my own ship. Way cool, way cool. Close that up, and let's just go back to the station and dock. Oh, I'm gonna get caught on this thing. Well, some things never change. <laughs> Still kept, uh, well, I'll go over that stuff later, I guess. All right, room warp. Whoa! Explosions are still way cool. And we're gonna activate our armor wrapper.
Nice. Very nice. CCP has done an amazing job on the new player experience. I'm not going to make you guys sit through the whole thing, obviously, but I just wanted to take a quick second just to talk about it. I mean, the clarity of what they're talking about, how things are presented to people. Super, super awesome. Um, I know that uh, if I had had this when I first started the game, I probably wouldn't have been able to get into actually doing stuff a billion times sooner. And, and, I mean, that they really have been taking time to give us the um, uh, uh, lessons on, like, how your overview works and, and, and how to use your camera, how to look at things, how to, all that good stuff. Uh, I mean, it's just been fantastic, you know? You know, what does this mean? What does that mean? When you're looking at stuff, what does that do? You know, and, and that it's really going through this stuff and really explaining ammo and, and and this this is way cool. I mean, in the, the safety thing, I it's a little weird, but also pretty cool. The the log out timers that they've added, way cool. CCP should really be applauded for this. As much as, as, as we like to complain sometimes. I mean, sometimes when they do something right Uh, we don't take the time to say how right they got it. And this time, I think they've really... This new player experience is, is phenomenal. It it's, takes that learning cliff and reduces it quite a lot. Excellent job. Very well done. It, it, it gives you information. It holds your hand a little bit, but not terribly. You know, it's, it's not like... It's not like you could just ignore all the stuff if you wanted to. I'm, I'm, I can't begin, I mean, really, super good job, guys. Excellent work. So, once you've completed the fantastic basic tutorial with Aura, she will have flown you to a station near to where you started, where you'll be able to take uh, a stab at what we call the career agents. These career agents, you may not be interested in, say, industry, or whatever but I honestly say do them all go through each and every one you may not want to be you know a, a uh, an exploration person but you don't know until you've done it so start wherever you like military that's fine um, you know to learn combat but also learn how industry works how exploration works how business works business is super important because I mean you need to learn the market no matter what you're going to do. <clears throat> so this stuff is very, very important. And I say go through each and every one of them. And again, each of these agents will have rewards for you. Um, so not doing them, in, in essence, it just hampers your ability to be competitive in the game as it goes. So that's that's my recommendation for you on that. Um, it's definitely do each of these. And if they're improved as much as the newbie tutorial was my goodness they'll actually might be interesting because that that i'm i i, I don't know how much of it i'm going to keep in i recorded my most of my experience through it except for the part where it tells you to autopilot which i still say don't ever do um it was a fantastic tutorial and it was well done it was clear it was concise i mean it didn't take me that much time to run through it and honestly i think that the the 8500 isk that I got from it. I got a module, I got some guns, got some ammo, I got a free skill book. So that that was pretty pretty amazing. Anyway, um, so yeah, you got a whole bunch of stuff for nothing for just learning how the game works. I I I can't again, I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to go through that tutorial. <laughs> And to go through these tutorials. I mean, hell, it taught you about local. 
what you never used to do. It taught you about your overview. It taught you about the HUD for, you know, the basics of it anyway. And we're going to go over the kind of like the more advanced stuff of that um, as I get into this episode. But I'm going to go ahead and run through these tutorials next. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and get started on covering kind of the broader stuff about really getting into the meat of Eve. So we'll see you in a little bit. right when I start recording there's noise outside anyway okay so uh, we've completed our career agents they're done uh, and just to kind of give you a rough idea of why that's such a good idea why I would consider it to be absolutely mandatory to do all of them let's take a look at the situation for dr. junior here let's take a look at his wallet first do 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 wallet 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 market wrong one <laughs> wallet man you'd think I would know these buttons by now uh, all right so <clears throat> minus taxes stupid taxes 4.4 uh, million isk just for running the tutorials just the tutorials okay that's not a bad amount of money to get started on it's a pretty decent amount when you consider that you're gonna be flying frigates for a pretty good time and they're not terribly expensive but that's not the half of it that's not even you know you've got other benefits boom look at that look at all these ships eight yet a catalyst you got an atron an imicus two navitas uh one tristan a venture which is the new mining frigate two iterons two haulers uh, of course and your your trusty dusty velator trusty duster velator you know so 858 thousand value on that you know 481 value on that 238 on that 285 on that 275 on that I mean 1.1 million is there I mean it's worth a lot it's a good starting spot and that's not even all of it look at this look at all this stuff and this isn't even all of it I've gotten rid of some of it you know I've trained some of the skills I got these skills are are either waiting duplicates or waiting for uh, prerequisites to be trained and then there's all the stuff that I earned in the missions. I mean you can ignore the civilian modules those are essentially useless um, but the rest of this stuff you can actually you know put on your ship there's some ammo there's some probes there's a probe launcher if you wanted to go out exploring well you know you've got the probes you got a probe launcher and you've got uh, an imicus right here go ahead get started have fun you know so these agents are super super important it's not always the most thrilling stuff but it, the rewards are well worth it, and it doesn't take that much time. I took quite a bit of time on it, mostly just because I was only doing this for like an hour or two at a whack. So I ran through the whole thing. And, and the key here is that every starting corp has its own beginning mission hub. Right? All of them. For, for all of the Glinte, all of the Kaldari, all of the Amar, all of the Mimitar. You could run... All of these agents multiple times for all of the factions if you really wanted to how's that for awesome you know and honestly I mean if, if you really wanted to do it, it you'd probably net yourself a good 10 12 million is to get started for so for just getting going I think that's pretty darn great all right so I'm gonna I'm gonna probably uh, we're we'll probably in this video here pretty shortly, but I wanted to take a moment to uh, give you guys an idea of where I plan on taking this series, uh, what's going to make it different than the old series, um, and what my plans are. Um, so first and foremost, this series is going to cover, you know, it's going to start with the basics just like uh, the original series did, but it's going to be a little bit better, obviously, because this isn't my first time through this, so I will be a little bit better in terms of my presentation and production which is great because uh, if you were one of the few people who saw the initial video it was terrible 
That's why I took it down. Nobody sees it anymore because it's not very good. Um, so what's what to do? Well, we're going to be joining Tasty Beverage Pub uh, Corporation. We're going to do that. Um, and what what I would like to do is, for those of you who are watching the video who might have an interest in, in joining and maybe flying with me, um, if you have an alt or a or want to roll a new alt uh, and pop him into Tasty Beverage, um, probably like once a month on Sundays, um, I'm going to be running this character uh, through missions or whatever, but ideally in a fleet, a small fleet to start, uh, and maybe large to get uh, down the road. Uh, PvP, PvE, whatever. I'm not sure, haven't decided, and we'll probably kind of make that up as we go along. But for the most part, I want to kind of explore that other aspect of EVE that the original series kind of ignored. It's that community, it's the getting in a corp, running ops, doing the things as a group. Because um, the game by itself is, is great, I enjoy it, but it's hard as hell, and if you don't have a group of people to fly with, it can be not the most exciting in the world. So this is a great way for you guys to be able to get into the game, especially if you're brand new to it, uh, or if you're an old dog like me and you want to help some new guys out, it's a great way to really get them off to on the right foot, uh, because you know we've got a lot of really great stuff that you can do that is kind of limited to being a corporation. So just as a just as a point of reference. Um, so if you want to do that, if you'd like to fly with me, here's what you need to do. You need to go to the corporation window, and you need to find the recruitment ad for Tasty Beverage. Tasty Beverage. This one right here. Oh. Mm, tasty beverage. There it is. Tasty beverage. All right. New pilot friendly. That's me. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, blah 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 blah. Uh, for alts and our activity, we only in small bursts. Recruiter is, of course, the original Doctor Ogres. So, first and foremost, join Tasty Beverage Pub. Might as well. Might as well just be in that channel all the time. Uh, second, go over here, hit the old apply button. Say, I would like to fly with you. And tax rate is obviously 0%, which is why it's there. Hit OK. Bam. Your application to Tasty Beverage has gone off. You can look here. It'll be unprocessed until I manage to get on with the original character and accept your application. Now, for those of you out there just to steal all our stuff, Tasty Beverage Corp has no assets. You'd be wasting your time. If you're just out there to blow us up, that's fine. Don't care. Um, <laughs> you know, go ahead. Join the corp and blow us all up. It'll be fun because uh, that's part of what makes Eve what Eve is. Um, so once you've placed your application and you've been accepted, your corporation window won't be your current corp. It'll be whatever your, you know, it'll be the Tasty Beverage Corp. And when you show up on Sundays, usually probably around 1,800 hours, maybe a little bit earlier, maybe a little bit later. Um, but that just tends to be when I'm online on my day off, which is Sunday. Uh, when you get online, you'll see the corp window. I'll be there uh, probably as this character, and we'll be ready to go out and do something. Well, the first couple times, I'm sure it'll be a little rough getting started, but hopefully we'll all be able to kind of agree on something to do and go do it. Um, I'm going to set up a, a website with um, probably a mumble server um, to get things going in terms of uh, corp voice chat and all that good stuff, um, just to kind of give us the full experience um, and all those details I will post in the corporation um message of the day and all that good stuff so there you have it that's the plan um, I will also be running some small videos alongside the major videos like this one uh, to cover some basic aspects of Eve that really don't warrant a whole episode but I think are interesting or and or necessary to learn how they function um, and uh, hopefully that'll be interesting for you guys um, so those will be kind of like shorter videos that run alongside supplementary stuff um, but that's kind of the focus of this new series is kind of getting uh, back into it learning the frigates because they've all changed um, and that's that's going to be something very interesting is kind of figuring out which frigates are good how you know is is a frigate lodgy 
a viable platform. You know, can a can a fleet of frigates with some, you know, frigate lodges in there really do some good? Don't know. I guess we'll find out. Um, so that's that's kind of what I'm interested in doing. So hopefully you guys are are down with that, and I'll start seeing some applications roll in for the Tasty Beverage Corp. Um, and I look forward to flying with y'all. But until then, uh, this is Dr. Rogers. I'll be signing off and fly safe. <laughs>